I'm going to be doing this style on freshly washed hair. My hair was shampooed, conditioned, and deep conditioned using Aussie Moist and Aussie Miracle Curls. So the first thing I'm going to do is decide where I'm going to part my hair, whether it be in the middle or on the side. This method for thick hair is going to work either way. And I like to part my hair and put it into four sections because unfortunately I cannot grab all of my hair and put it into one ponytail holder because they all pop. So for this style, I'm going to be sectioning my hair off and moisturizing it in sections. And then I'm going to also be doing the bun in sections. The very first thing I added to my hair is water because although my hair was freshly washed, you can see how dry it was, so adding that water back in is very important. I follow that with a leave-in conditioner. My leave-in of choice is Aussie. It's technically not a leave-in conditioner, but I leave it in my hair anyway because my hair reacts very well to it and it helps the manageability so much. I follow that with the Aussie cream pudding and I recently started using this cream pudding. They sent it to me in a care package and it is absolutely amazing. It smells good, it makes your definition pop, it brings out your texture, it doesn't really have any buildup. But for this bun, we don't really need to use a lot of it because we don't need our texture to be that popped for a sock bun. Following the cream pudding, I go in with the Eco Styler Gel with the flaxseed in it and I like to put this over top because it really just locks everything into place. And then following that, I go in with oil. The oil that I chose to use is African Pride's um, Olive Oil. It's supposed to be a growth stimulating oil. I really haven't seen the difference in my hair, but it smells really good and it gives really good shine. Once my second section in the back is moisturized, following the same steps that I follow for the first section, I join those two sections into one using my detangling brush. Right over top of my detangling brush, I use a hard bristle brush to smooth everything down and make sure everything is laying. And I like to put my hair in a ponytail using a headband that I doubled. And I like to use a headband because it has more stretch and it allows for the ponytail to be tighter. So for each section that I did, I added another ponytail holder to the first ponytail that I made so that it gives the illusion that it was one big ponytail. Once all of my sections are into the ponytail, I like to do my edges. And for my edges, I use the green Equal Styler Gel as well as beeswax. I go in with the beeswax first and I like to use a comb because that really puts everything where you specifically want it to be. And I like to use the rat tail end of it to make kind of harsh lines to really make my edges stand out a lot more. On top of my beeswax, I go in with the Equal Styler Gel, which you'll see in a little bit. And with my Equal Styler Gel, I like to use a toothbrush to really make sure I don't have any flyaways or fray hair sticking up around my hairline. So now it's time for the actual bunning part and I made my sock bun out of actual socks but you can buy a sock bun from pretty much any store that you go to. And all I do is I pull my hair straight through the middle and I'm going to use my hands to spread my hair around the socks and I like to use my hands instead of a comb so that my bun is kind of textured. And then I'm just going to pull a hair tie right over top of that. Now if your hair is shorter and you decide to use socks like I did, don't use too many socks. The more socks you use, the bigger the bun, the less socks you use, the smaller the bun. My last 
and final step is just applying oil all over my hairs for some extra shine and also slicking at the back of my neck because I know some of y'all probably saw it but I got it together. And I'm all done. And I love wearing this style. This style literally lasts me a week and it could last longer if I really wanted it to. Thanks for watching.